On March 28th, the Zips hosted the Toledo Rockets for some action on the ball diamond. John Valak would get the start for the Zips, and he was in a zone. Valak would make Rockets hitters look silly all day, delivering strikeout after strikeout. Valak would finish with 10 Ks altogether. Toledo pitcher Cameron Palmer found himself in an early jam. Bases loaded and two outs. Zips trying to strike first, but Palmer delivers the strikeout. Toledo with a runner on second. Valak throws the ball in the dirt, but catcher Brian Lease throws the runner out at third. Toledo again threatening with a runner on third, but Valak delivers another strikeout. For those of you scoring at home, that's a backwards K. Zips bench coming out to appreciate Valak's effort. Zips have runners in scoring position. Matt Rembleck hits a line drive to right field, but Ryan Callahan makes a perfect throw to the plate to get the runner out. Costly error here for the Zips as what should be a routine play turns into a run scoring error as shortstop Matt Rembleck delivers a high throw to first. Zach Beaver would relieve Valak in the last inning, but could not hold the Rockets as Ryan Callahan doubles the center field. and John Martellota hits a single to bring in another run. The Rockets were the winners of this game by a score of 3-2. to two. On March 29th, the Zips hosted the Rockets at Lee R. Jackson Field for an afternoon ball game. The Zips would strike first as Matt LaRocca ropes this one into center field for a double. LaRocca would go in standing up and why not strike a pose for the cameras? Mason Mamarello would pick up the RBI single here as the throw to first is not in time. The Zips handed the ball to starter JT Brubaker and Brubaker was near lights out on the mound on this day as he was able to rack up seven strikeouts and only allow two hits and eight innings of work. Mamarello again would knock in another run here on a single and here Matt Reblack doubles to left field. Costly mistake by Toledo pitcher Steve Calhoun as his pitch goes into the dirt. The catcher is unable to find the ball and the zips take advantage. Chris Simonton ropes a ball into right field for a single scoring two runs. The zips continue the offensive surge and continue to take advantage of Rockets miscues. An overthrow to third will score the run. The zips are winners in this one as they beat the Rockets 10 to 1. The zips as a team had 19 hits and were led by Joey Haverlack, who was 2 for 4 with an RBI and scored 3 runs.